Okay guys, so today I'm going to try out this Gorilla Glue um, mini, yeah, dual temp mini glue gun that I recently picked up at Walmart. Um, I hadn't tried this, I've tried other glues of theirs, but never tried the uh, glue guns, so I just went for the mini one. They do have a larger one, it costs a little more, well, I guess quite a bit more, but I went with this guy, um, you know, he's around $10 or so. So, I did pick up the hot glue sticks that refill it. I'm, I'm assuming it comes with some, but I guess not. <laughs> yeah, they don't even, hmm, start you off a little bit? Little one? No? Okay, that's fine. Um, so I will link it there um, in the little, like, shopping bag here if you're watching on YouTube. Um, that would be the affiliate link, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchasing items through those links. Um, yeah, I just want to try it out. So you already saw in the thumbnail, I'm sure, the project we're making. In my mind, I pulled this out to try out the watercolor, not watercolor, the alcohol ink markers uh, that uh, Walmart has that are super inexpensive. And I thought, oh, what if we make like a little something with the jar? So I'm going to use these with some felt. And, um, you know, this set, the strawberry shape is already a shape. It would be cute if it if I had like the two separate things, right? The die for the calyx and the die for the strawberry. But they're already shapes. I, I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. We'll see. Or maybe the little flowers, huh? And the leaves, because the flower and leaf shape is flower and leaf shape. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, but I am going to use the lid and all that. So maybe even the label just have something on there that's cute. I don't know. Um, but I will bring that out in just a minute. So first we're going to open this guy up. I can't get that in there <laughs> at the moment. And see what it's about. It does say dual temp. To be honest, I never pay attention to that. When I buy like refills, I just grab whatever. Um, and I don't even know what dual temp means. <laughs> I guess cold and hot. I don't know. Or like the glue that can be run at a hotter pace. I have no idea. All I know is I've seen that on lots of systems and I'm just like okay but well, there's a, a low and a high okay I guess that's for your dual temp so high low again if it was me I would always have it on high and I put I don't care <laughs> a glue stick is gonna go in there but you know I know there are many many of you that take more care and are more discerning in that way but I'll undo this nice long cord I would say it's at least a yard long um, I don't know if it tells you on here it says it has a rubber base. Let's check it out. Rubber trigger, rubber handle. The only thing about all that is it makes me think it's that kind of rubber that starts feeling sticky and gross after a while. You guys know what I'm talking about? I probably have some things here. Actually, my <laughs> can opener from Ikea, I've had it for probably almost 20, eh, let's say 20 years, I would say. Maybe a little less. And um, the handle is just like sick. I'm like, okay, I need to throw that away and go get a new one. But uh, it's happened with even like some of my cosmetics, like my NARS pellets, NARS, the company NARS. I know after like two or three years, they start getting that gross feeling. So I don't know. It's whatever they do with this rubber, the type of rubber that it is. It says it has a power light, a feeder tube, obviously side fins, inlet tube, and insulated nozzle. Ooh, side fins, you guys, for some reason. I don't know. Um, Funny enough, it's talking about all these weird things, but it doesn't say that it has a little stand. Like, what do the side fins have to do with anything? <laughs> I don't know. I guess maybe, I have no idea what that, who cares. I would say this is something you want to point out more than that, but it's not pointed out at all, but it does have a little stand for you. Um, okay, so just plug it in. Obviously, you're going to do low, high, and then your glue. This is the glue that goes with it. Um, it says it bonds wood, metal, glass, plastic, floral, fabric, leather, foam, and more. Um, you know, I'm going with uh, felt, which isn't listed here, but obviously fabric, I guess. Um, 75 mini, all temperature hot glue sticks, which again, all temperature. So for me, I just throw it on high, but it says use Gorilla hot glue sticks in high, low, and dual temperature glue guns. Okay, again, I'll just put it on high. Um, and we'll go with that. It does say it's non-yellowing, which is nice. Hopefully that's the case. And they feel interesting. This is from the Dollar Tree. This one just feels nice. I don't know how to explain it. Like silicone-y almost. <laughs> Where this one is... I don't know if you can see the difference. The clear look of this one. This one's a little more rigid. They're roughly the same size, but yeah, this is from the dollar store. This is the Gorilla Glue one, and I'm going to tell you, it does feel nice. It feels nicer, nicer, I don't know. I'm trying to shove that in there. 
as far as in as it'll go and you know obviously you're going to squeeze that I'm going to plug it in and well I may mean, let's do our die cutting first because I don't know how long it's going to take to, to heat up and if it heats up pretty quickly then you know it's going to be waiting around so let me grab my felt I'll be right back so let's see what do we want like a light blue jar possibly For this one I don't care if the fabric or the felt is stiff felt like this or floppy felt like this they all have their uh, uses but um, I'll use the stiff one and we're gonna make like a little pouch I think that'd be cute so we have that um, let me go through I'm gonna do a couple little white flowers I guess and green leaves so I'm gonna go through and pull out the colors that I want to use and I'll be right back okay. so again still haven't turned that on not quite there yet I'm just gonna run this through my um, marquee if you have any machine where you have a metal shim it'd be really nice because uh, unless your machine has enough pressure to really cut through fabric or felt um, and a lot of them do uh, if you cut into a metal shim it'll be that much better so I'll cut two of these guys out because we want a front and a back for our little pouch looks like I've used this felt before oh, you know what let's go this way so two of these guys That looks like it'll get two on there. <laughs> um, the lid, I did get a gray. I do have a, a metallic one, like a lame kind of thing. I should have grabbed that, but I did not see it in this batch of felt, so it might be in a different batch of felt. So we'll just go with gray. That's okay. <laughs> what do I have stuck on here? Weird. Okay. Ooh, the Spellbinders kit would be cute from this month. Um, the little jar there. Uh, do we do a front and back on that one too? You don't have to. So I'm not going to. <laughs> so I'll put this over here. Uh, that's for the front. But if you want to make another one, so the back of the card or your card, the uh, pouch has that. That's great. Um, I'm going to do a little flower. And I'll probably cut out a couple of flowers. Maybe two or three. I don't know. Maybe just one. And then I'm going to take this guy to cut a leaf. And since it's clear and all that, I mean, I'm going to take this down here. This is felt that's soft and, you know, that's okay. We mix and match. Um, I think I'm going to put a label on it, although, you know, it's not going to look much like anything because <laughs> it's felt and it's just the color. I suppose you could stamp it. I don't know if you're good at those kind of crafts. I have no idea. <laughs> so I'm going to put that on there. You know, I always run through as many as I can. And I'm just going to cut those out. And I will be right back. I will say, I know this is about the glue gun, but when you're cutting felt, the firm, the stiff felt, to me, cuts the best in die cutting machines. The floppy kind, it cuts well, but you know, when you're pulling it out, sometimes you'll get like, see how it's still wanting to stay? Like these little fibers. You can just trim away later, but it definitely is a different feel. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Okay, I just have to show you. I have a good eye. <laughs> look at that. And look at this. Just made it. <laughs> All right, I'll run it through. Okay, guys, all done with that. And so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and plug in the um, the hot glue gun, and then we'll see about how long it takes to heat up. So I'm um, going to go plug it in, because there's no on and off switch. It's just high and low, so I already have it on high. And um, I'll be right back. So I just plugged it in. Light came on. And so I'm just going to... Let's see, it's like 138, but it's been 138, so I'm sure it's going to be 139 very soon. <laughs> see how long it takes to heat up. Um, it just is a lot of glue gun to heat for approximately five minutes. So I guess even if it starts going, they're saying just let it go, but, you know, I'm too impatient for that. Squeeze trigger to dispense glue. More glue is dispensed by squeezing trigger repeatedly. Oh, I see. Just more of this kind of thing. Continue glue flow by adding additional glue sticks. It needs approximately two glue sticks for initial startup. Mmm, it's because it's going to start melting and then once it starts getting kind of short if you're squeezing it the next one that you put in is what pushes it through, right? But that's kind of interesting. It says you need two to initially. We'll see how much this falls in there, but that's okay. Uh, immediate press surfaces to be bonded together. Do not pull glue sticks from glue gun. Yeah, I always just leave them there. A changing glue feed remainder of glue stick through the glue gun. I don't know about that. I just leave it there and then let it heat it up for the next time I use it. I've never tried to pull one out like when it's fine, but I'm sure once it's 
like cold like this one I think you can just pull it out right I've never tried to do that really like for what reason let's see oh that's interesting yeah I can't pull that out <laughs> yep nope it's probably just all melted in there so it's just holding on to it I don't know interesting but see this one is a Dremel and this is my old one and they don't offer it anymore I like I, I haven't seen it you can switch out the nozzle and all these things and it has trigger things and that pops that out so um, this guy you press that anyway high and low also I believe yeah low and then high and then it has some lights very fancy it's all the same stuff okay I guess I'm gonna wait I told you it was 138 it's 140 now see it's been about a minute though um, I'll wait a couple more it's warming up definitely it's ooh, it's already giving me a squish so I have a feeling that means it's already melting yep oh my gosh <laughs> okay no wonder um, it's been about two minutes I'm just gonna go for it so let's put this here I got it all over the nozzle now just trying to keep it nice and pristine not like the other one um, okay let's put this over here and we are definitely going to have to pop in another one of these guys because it did shrink down quite a bit just let it sit there and you're ready to go I have not planned what I was doing here yet so okay let's use some of this glue that's just sitting here I want to get rid of that oh I probably shouldn't have it feels really nice it's still coming out even though I stopped pulling the trigger but not too much in my opinion probably should not have put the glue that low that's okay we'll get rid of that later so with hot glue, if I start pulling this, you see this string, it's going to keep doing that, right? We don't want that. So I just leave it, and when I'm done with my project, I do what I need to do to get rid of that, which is usually just pick it away. So we have our little lid. How cute is that? Um, like I said, I want to make a little pocket, so I'm just going to go... The bead is not... So yeah, I already have to let go and squeeze it again. It doesn't just keep coming out, like it said. I mean, once you're, you know, down... It's not super consistent at the beginning there, but again, I am jumping the gun a little bit, aren't I? Haha, <laughs> the glue gun. Okay, I'm going to turn this over. Pop this guy on here. We'll see how it bonds this together. <laughs> I have some little hairs on that one to trim away also. I just said that I don't mess with it, but that one's already drying, so it's easy to kind of get rid of it without making a bunch of strands. Okay, we have our little pocket. This label piece, I was just going to pop in the front. For me, I still, this is where the die was and it pushed down. I mean, you can't really hardly tell the difference, but I can see it. <laughs> so I'm still going to pretend this is the back. Um, oh, it's not following. It's not following. Nope. No, no, no. Behave. Stuck my finger in this guy. There we go. So we'll see if it still stays melted for as long as I was just messing around. <laughs> and oh, that's cute. Very cute. Probably shouldn't have the glue on its own here. I can see as I'm sitting here, I mean, I'm using it actively. It's not really just coming out for no reason, right? Which my other glue gun would absolutely do. <laughs> It just makes a huge pile of glue um, as I'm working with it. And, you know, we have this. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use all of it or even all three flowers. So cute. If I did use all three flowers, it would be something like two here and one there. It's kind of a lot going on, but you know what? Why not? Maybe I'll bring the leaves out a little bit more. Okay cute okay so let's oh up here huh I was gonna put a little twine maybe a little bow or something so I'm not gonna worry about that too much so let's put this guy here and you saw I only put a little bit of glue because I think it's cute to have a little movement and then if we had ooh, that was quite a bit one I don't have any flower centers, but if you wanted to make some, you can definitely put some flower centers or maybe some like Nouveau drops or some kind of drops like that. I'm going to make this one kind of high and not really push it down because it's up here. See what I'm saying? 
I'm not quite pushing it. I'm actually holding it over here because it wants to fall down that way and I want it to stay kind of up. There we go. So once the glue starts settling down, cooling off, you're able to keep that dimension. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. <laughs> so there you go, it's a little, little gift pouch. If I didn't glue the very top, you could have left that open or even cut this here so it's just shorter, you know? Like cut this piece with a scissor. Um, and then you can tuck a uh, gift card in there very easily. Because right now it's a little bit too tight for a gift card, but you can stick other little like treats in there. Little pencils or pens or something cute like that, right? Um, okay, let's see what I have in my stash. I kind of want to bring some red back. I have these, this. I mean, I have plenty more than what I'm showing here, but maybe some red. I'm so used to just laying this down. Okay, there. Um, maybe this red. It's a little brighter. And maybe we're going to do a finger bow. So I'm just going to take some, probably just over a foot. And I have a whole video on this, so if you miss it, just look up. Maybe I'll link it in, I'll link it in the description box, because I don't remember what I called it. I think it's how to easily make a bow with your fingers or something like that. But either way. So you have it there. Wrap it over your index and in between. And up and under and over... Well, under and behind your middle finger back to the index back to the middle finger if you're doing two loops and the rest of this we're just going to loop it through but I have plenty I don't know if it's plenty enough to make a third round let's see eh, that's pretty tight but that's okay so once you have the loops you can do you know however many you want go over all of them push it through your fingers bring it out the other side and then go under this this cross you just made to make a little knot and then pull it tight. So just under that, pull it tight. You can do some adjustments with this because obviously all you do is go like this if you really think about it once it's off your fingers, but there's not a lot of adjustment to be made. <laughs> so there we go. And then I'll just cut this to be a little closer to the other guy. And should we put him there where the glue was? I mean, that's the thing. I feel like I have a lot going on over here. I probably should have put this here. That's the kind of thing I like to do. I would like that to be over there. But you know what? It's going to be over here today. And we could have wrapped it around just to go around this whole thing. But I'm just adding it as a bow. But uh, if you still want to have actual strings go around, you can do that. Actually, when I do finger bows, I do a pretend one. It would just be a, um, a strand going around there. And that's it. If I had thought about this a little bit more, though, but in all honesty, I would have put this stuff in this corner, that bow over there. <laughs> okay? But there we go. Um, let me turn it off, and then we'll look at the glue. But again, it wasn't just dripping because it, you know, it was dripping. So that's really good. Oh, it drives me nuts. And it was kind of sitting here. I mean, maybe if you leave it for an extended period. I don't know. Use but I am going, going to go unplug it. Uh, it does say unplug after use and allow glue gun to cool completely before storing. And that's it. Uh, it doesn't say it's an auto shut off or anything like that, so I mean I don't see that. Uh, da, 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 fuse some other stuff. Disconnect glue gun. Do not use something. Extension cords. Yeah, I don't see that. It just turns off on its own. Okay, I'm gonna go unplug it. Okay, guys. So I have unplugged it. I will say that's one bummer. I don't. You know, my other one. I always have it plugged in, and it's just off. And then when I want to use it, I don't have to go and mess with it. Only because my plugs are like on the opposite side of my craft table, so it's like ah, I have to go around <laughs> to do that. But I am impressed with the, like that. It's not just dripping and all that kind of stuff. And for you know, like whatever it was, maybe it was a little more than ten bucks. I don't remember right now, to be honest. But um, it was inexpensive, right, as compared to some other ones. They do have the larger model, and I'm assuming the larger model probably has an on and off switch, and I would probably be interested in that because it uh, works really well. So that's great. Um, so I'll put that to the side. And then we have our little guy, and again, I have a little glue there, and I just kind of will pinch it. And if I need to cut it with scissors, like little trimmer scissors, I'll just cut whatever bit that might be there that's annoying. But uh, yeah, if it's wet and you're just like pulling, 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 you're going to continue pulling, pulling, pulling because it just keeps growing, you know? So I always take care of those bits later. And again, maybe we pop in some centers. Oh, cute. Little buttons. That would be a cute way. A nice time to use your buttons. Um, but anyway, I just made a little pouch. 
just to make something to try it out with. So thanks for watching guys. Um, again, it'll be linked there. I'll have other links is available in the description box for some of the other items. Like I mentioned how to make a bow. Um, if that's, if it went by too quickly and I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.